Man, I'm telling you, the action never stops here in Yankee land. I have the lineup for you. It's out, but the Yankees, aside from signing a pitcher a little while ago with probably the greatest name ever, Chi-Chi Gonzalez, the video's on that down below. Go take a look at it. They've just added two more pitchers to the Rail Riders uh, roster. And, uh, you know, remember, they gutted a lot of this team. And they got rid of Luis Medina, J.P. Sears, and Ken Waldachuk in one trade to Oakland for Frankie Montez and Lou Trevino. So this is they're, repl they're replenishing some depth here and giving them more versatility and some options in case they want to call up somebody at some point. So, again, Jacob Barnes, right-handed pitcher, and Wilking Rodriguez are also added to the Chichi Gonzalez signing a little while ago. So they've added three pitchers. So, and um, Wilking Rodriguez... <laughs> it's a 32-year-old pitcher, looks like from the Mexican League. And Jacob Barnes is another 30 or 32-year-old pitcher as well. He's on the Yankees' farm now. Uh, yeah, 32-year-old. So two 32-year-old right-handed pitchers. And nothing flashy, but some more depth to the AAA stable on the pitching side. Now, let's transition over to the lineup, okay? If the game ends early, as you know, I'll live stream it. Otherwise, if it's too late, I'll, I'll be live streaming, no doubt, again, on my regular live streams once they hit to Tampa, when it's a little bit more of a reasonable time. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that, if you like this type of stuff. News like this, live streams, recaps, lineups, breaking news, the works. And the news is just going to be coming in the next couple days, so I don't want you to miss it. So now, DJ LeMahieu is leading off, batting second base. I'm playing second base, excuse me. Andrew Benatendi batting second. In left field. I like the one two. I don't care which order, but I think those two guys should be in the top two spots. Aaron Judge, fresh off his fiftieth home run, which he's done the second time now. He's playing center field, batting third. Giancarlo Stanton's batting cleanup, DHing. Anthony Rizzo's batting fifth, playing first base, fresh off a nice home run last night as well. His twenty ninth of the season. Josh Donaldson, uh, his bat's kind of starting to get a little bit more alive, but we need more out of him. Batting sixth, playing third base, Oswaldo Cabrera. Batting seventh in right field, he's an exciting player. We need to go on. We need we need to get hot. I think if we got hot with a couple other guys, I think we'd be in good shape. Isaiah kind of left is batting eighth at shortstop, and again getting clutch hits, getting key hits, getting on base on a regular basis, right? Making contact on a regular basis, important. Okay, low key but very productive player. And Kyle Higashoka is at the dish, batting ninth. Okay, and uh, on the stump, Jamo Jamison Tyon. So that's who we have it going up against the uh, the Anaheim Angels. The Yankees got to win these next two games. They really, really do. We need them to win this series, man. We need some feel good here. After this five game winning streak, they've gone on a three game losing streak, which almost wiped out all the good feels of the winning streak. So we need them to get back on the horse here and play well and show that they're hungry to win and just play hard and play hungry. We could tell when they're not doing it and when they are. So it's important, okay? And it's important for them too to put themselves in a good position to keep. Getting better and winning and, and not cutting and letting this lead be cut any further. They have six games coming up against Tampa themselves. Like, this is an important lead to be holding on. And thank the heavens that they built up enough cushion early in the season. But anything is possible at this point. So we need the Yankees to get back on track. I'm encouraged what I saw with Clay Holmes last night. That was a good outing back from the IL. I like Jonathan Lewisiga's progress too. So we're seeing, getting a little bit more stability in that bullpen. We need Efrost to come back healthy, right? We need, you know, Michael King's not going to be back till next year, but even if it's Miguel Castro, you know, and, and Zach Britton, who, you know, just had a, a cramp in the butt the other day. So there's no serious injury on Zach Britton. So and he says he's fine. He's kind of day-to-day like Nestor Cortez says he is too. So we need these guys to come back and we need the bats to wake up. On a consistent basis, right? We can't just have one guy or two guys carrying the team. We need more. We need more because whoever whoever we play, they always play the Yankees hard. And that's the bottom line. So the Yankees need to play them just as hard. So that's the lineup and that's the news, gang. I'll talk to you guys later. Over and out.